Welcome in my amazing Aquarians to a general weekly reading for you. I hope you're doing well. We're beginning with interestingly enough, two overall energies for you. The number two is part of your week. Um, you're going to find it's a very magical on point time for you where things just work out for you. You're going to find that um, getting from these two images, uh, spirits pointing out when you efficiently blend in at times and other points stand out in the crowd. Um, and maybe a bit of both at certain other uh, select points. Um, you're going to find that it's a time for you where you are manifesting very, very efficiently, um, but co-creating is taking place more than you know, right? Because you're very connected being drawn to this reading. Um, you're going to find that there are a lot of uh, spiritual messages coming through from moving objects. Interesting. Um, you're going to find that you want to keep to yourself throughout the week more than maybe you once did. Um, or more than uh, feels necessary. I hope that makes sense. It, it's as if uh, you're wanting to uh, continue or go through uh, the soul development for you uh, at this time, uh, the evolution of your uh, soul um, in a very solo kind of way. Uh, people aren't going to understand you throughout the week, but they want to get to know you. Uh, you're captivating is what I'm getting. Your energy is drawing in the right type of people, places, situations, opportunities. But when the select ones don't feel right uh, to you intuitively, um, or spirit points it out very, very clearly, let's trust that, okay? And that may uh, come into play by, say, uh, declining an opportunity or declining a chance to uh, hang out with somebody or to okay hook up with somebody is what I'm getting uh, to be specific it may as well be in regards to say picking up a shift at work or something um, but you're going to as well find that you are very much being shown the way by spirit while you are uh, uh, showing the way uh, for at least one other person if not several others uh, you're going to find little moments of uh, say itchiness uh, little irritations will come to be um, bugs will not be your friend is what I'm getting um, but I do feel like you want to do more at times throughout the week than you physically maybe emotionally or mentally uh, can all right or just you're not meant to um, you're going to find as well there's a, a lot less spiritual messing with throughout the week than you've once dealt with that's amazing okay and if that message isn't for you then um, you know just take what resonates but the two of swords speaks upon you feeling at times a bit lost, okay? Uh, it reminds me of yesterday at my serving job. I was doing some of the most simplistic uh, closing uh, duties and I just felt lost. It was spiritually affected. It was me being tired, right? These kind of things are affecting you. Uh, energy was affecting me. Um, you're going to find that you need to be drinking a, a hell of a lot more H2O, a lot more water throughout the week. Uh, I feel like what you're going through on certain levels, uh, at least part of which is spiritually, it's dehydrating you, okay? Your dreams are, I want to say, dehydrating. I know that sounds very odd and uh, disconnected. Uh, that was a key phrase for you. Um, you're going to find there's a, a focus, like I want to say in Leo's reading, if uh, I remember correctly, what you feel a lack of uh, connection uh, to, uh, what you don't feel interested in, what you don't have a craving for throughout the week. It speaks upon what you're going through change-wise, uh, where you feel like protecting yourself. Uh, trust that, okay? Uh, where you feel misled in certain small ways throughout the week, discard it moving on forth okay um nobody can get in my way is what i just heard uh it's this feeling of you i just heard beep beep coming through um you just want to move forward and see things work out better than they have been or and uh maybe you know rewinding back i'm sure uh don't be surprised when uh there are spiritual pushes to reflect too much all right, it's up to you to put your foot on the brake and bring yourself back to the present moment or maybe more so focus uh, seeing the three of wands on your bright Aquarian future. Uh, 417 and 433, those are good numbers for you angel number wise. Um, where you feel locked in, I'm being shown offense, kind of eight of uh, swords vibe uh, coming through. Uh, don't uh, feel like that is permanent, okay? Or remember that it's, uh, it's temporary, okay? Um, you're going to find that little speech uh, impediments is what I'm hearing, speech uh, stumbles take place. Don't stress it, okay? Um, you are very, very uh, wrapped up with so much purpose throughout the week um, and little stumbles along the way, all right? Nothing's perfect and that includes you and we need you to appreciate that a bit more. 
all right um i feel like for a lot of which that has to do with your physical figure okay or other aspects of your physical appearance the emperor card coming out as well as the two of cups there's a connection to the way that you're planning okay you might even find there's a focus for some on how you once and maybe currently are planning with somebody else um you're uh strategically moving forward more at times than you even realize and this is helping you uh, match up with the right type of people places and experiences and i want to see opportunities um i also feel like spirit behind uh the scenes i'm hearing behind closed doors uh okay behind a curtain is what i just heard uh, kind of like the wizard of oz interesting um is planning for you to meet somebody special in the future this could be platonic could be um uh, okay spiritual is what i'm hearing it could be of course a, a dating kind of romantic connection um, but either way i feel like there's a lot of new people for you to connect with moving forward but you're not meant to meet them per se until you go through certain adjustments uh certain levels of adaptation and uh, change development within and outside of you your aquarian world uh, is going to again feel different throughout this week it reminds me of the previous uh, weekly read for you um, but you're going to at times need to recognize when something needs to be stopped uh, began again uh, or stopped and uh, continued at a later point due to the background noise you also have the star card it's a week of stardom in certain small ways and spirit saying look forward towards your dreams your goals in a hopeful manner because at this time you're manifesting once again very efficiently uh, you will find there's a true focus on what you dream about when you drift away you know daydreaming um, very much uh, spiritually affected at least most of the time i want to say um, and you're going to find that this uh, really uh, reminds you and or teaches you of something uh, important okay uh, you will find the color yellow is significant for you uh, so don't be uh, surprised when you're drawn to wear it uh, maybe utilize it otherwise uh, I want to say even the spiritual meaning of which is coming into play the two of swords in reverse Ooh, that slips a little bit bear with me um, it's a time of realizations and uh, remembering how clearly you do see things uh, for the most part but I also feel like uh, clarity is coming through at certain points and from different avenues and uh, different forms and you need to uh, have an immense amount of gratitude for that because it feels like it's exactly what you're needing to better understand uh, from the past uh, maybe uh, due to your uh, uh, speaking upon your present situation and for some it's about the future as well um, you will find flowers are significant okay um, as well, I feel like spirit wants you to utilize social media to your advantage, whether it's uh, choosing the right tarot readings to watch, uh, utilizing parts of other social media accounts uh, to gain messages, right? Uh, posts and whatnot. Let's keep shuffling. Ooh, splitting the deck to the two of pentacles and the two of cups. So number 22 is on the board. Um, I really feel like you're going to find that there's a focus on a, a choice that hasn't come to be uh, or that you chose not to make with a potential connection or one that was existing or does. Um, and I really feel like uh, spirit is reminding you at certain points throughout the week you're making the right choices, Aquarius. You know what you're doing, okay? You don't give yourself enough credit for that at times. Um, it's going to feel like things are off at certain points, but it's more on point than it feels in that moment. Does that make sense? Uh, you're going to feel like you want to move things a bit quicker with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse while you feel like you can't force it and you do things at your own Aquarian uh, Knight of Pentacles uh, star card kind of pace, all right? Uh, when you're pushed to reach for the stars and aim for more than you have, uh, more than you've had, don't be surprised when that's very effective, uh, especially, I want to say, for the upcoming uh, couple of months. There's a significance when it comes to the month of June. Uh, the month of June. Um, it's right around the corner, my friend. A lot of victory and knowledge uh, applying that's going to take place. I mean, now, of course, but they're saying, again, uh, June is a very important, powerful, transitional month for you. 
Um, something you've been waiting for is right around the corner. Is that a new somebody, a new level of commitment? Otherwise, uh, is it a new place to live? I feel like for some it's maybe uh, due to uh, a lack of a career opportunity. Uh, maybe it's more money. And I want to say for some of which there's two or three things you've been asking for, uh, manifesting even. Uh, and uh, I really feel like uh, you're going to notice throughout the week um that divine timing is on your side all right uh, there's a feeling of um blessings coming through uh, being shown to you in different forms right uh divine delays uh divine uh prevention taking place and divine pushes and pulls uh to your advantage where you put in your uh, the hard work throughout the week my friend very very effective where you feel like uh, working on things right when it comes to your physical appearance self-care uh, your work for a lot when it comes to uh, cleaning things up in other ways that's also very effective they're saying as the wind blows I hope it's not affecting the sound too much the winds of change Again, I want to remind you, when you feel like staying in your own lane, in your own Aquarian bubble throughout the week, trust that. There's uh, a lot of reasoning uh, behind that, uh, below the surface, if you will. Um, but once again, to wrap up this beautiful reading, it is a magical, uh, important, successful time for you where you're learning more about, uh, again, I want to say the past, present, and the future, and about yourself and how things are meant to change now and moving forward, okay? So this is truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light, and we'll talk again soon.